Hello, I'm going to show you today how to take information from a spreadsheet and merge it into a Google Doc. This is a super quick and easy way to take information that's in a spreadsheet and use it in a Google Doc. Now, a lot of times information, I just have like this generic information that you might get from uh, your, your online gradebook. Um, you, you can export spreadsheets and you can just copy that information and paste it in here. So I just get, put some typical information on here, last name, first name, usernames for Google, um, the password that they might use for logging into their accounts, both username and password for logging their accounts. And this, I made up a, a class code for maybe Google Classroom. So what I'm going to do with this information is I'm going to put it into my Google Doc. Now, if you look here, it's this very generic. I have first name and last name, and around it, I have like the less than and greater than signs, two of them. So we'll just call them arrows. So I have those arrows on each side, two of them surrounding, you know, these different names that are here in red. Well, if you look at it, this actually corresponds to my column names. So my columns, my five columns that I have, I have represented in this letter. So it just says welcome first name and then last name. And then I have the, the information down here in terms of class code, password and username. So what I want to happen is I want to generate an individual doc for each student where it's specific for them. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to take this information uh, from here and I'm going to just put it in there. Now, normally you'd have you know, a lot more students than just the, the eight I have listed here. Um, I guess you could always copy and paste it, but this is a much faster and better way. So you go to add-ons, and so you have to get the add-on first, and the add-on is called Autocrat. This is a great, great add-on. And so you got to wait for it to load up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new job. And I'm just going to call it sample welcome letter. Okay. So um, what you're going to do is your, your template is going to be your document. So I'm going to, this is in my, my doc or in my drive, it's a doc. So I do have it right here, but I'll, I'll show you what it looks like from drive. And so generally it's probably something that's going to be towards the top of your recent. And here it is right here, my welcome student letter. I'm gonna pick that. And so now I have that welcome student letter. So I'm gonna click next. So the merge tab, it's asking you, if you had multiple sheets open here on your spreadsheet, that's what it's asking you which one you're gonna use. So now it's trying to match your spreadsheet um, column titles to your actual what's in your Google Doc. So first name, first name, that's good. Last name, last name, that's good. Username, username. So everything's matching up, so I'm good to go. So I'm going to click Next. So in this, um, I want it to, be a, to put it out as a Google Doc, but I could also make it a PDF if I wanted to. Um, Actually, let's go PDF. What the heck? But you can do Google Doc or a PDF. And then I'm going to click Next. Oh, actually, strike that. We're going to go to File Name. This is a really cool setting right here, too. My file name, I want it to be specific for each student. So I'm going to call it their first name. Then last name. And then we'll just put something at the end. We're going to call it this. We're just going to put science. And, you know, actually, I'm going to go back to Google Docs. <laughs> you can pick whatever one you want. I'm just going to go to Google Docs. So you can, it's going to pull something from the columns for the file name, and then you can put whatever you want after that. Okay, I'm going to click Next. I want it to go. I created a folder with my drive called Sample Welcome Letter. You can change that folder if you'd like. Next. Um, most All these I just click Next. Um, I don't want to add conditions. Um, I don't want to send emails. And I don't want any kind of uh, job triggers. And then I'm going to click Save. It's going to save the job. And you can save it throughout this entire process too. And now I'm going to click Play on this. Okay. And when I 
uh, kick play, it's now going to start producing my, um, my, my Google Docs. And so over here, if you look over here, you can sit, you can see that it's adding these different, um, it's telling you that it's, it's creating a document, it's finished making the document. So all that's going to be listed right there. So it's then four of eight documents. So while it's doing that, let's actually go to my folder and look at what I've, I have now. So if we look, we have these Google docs for each one of my students specific to my students. Okay, so if I click on, let's go to Mr. Clapton's here. And you'll see that it says, hello. Welcome Eric Clapton to Science8. Here's some information. So here's his username. It gives him his password and it gives him the classroom code. So when you have, when you're trying to make a bunch of letters for a lot of students or anything for that matter, when you're doing a lot, this is a super quick and easy way uh, to get that done. And if we go back to my drive, we can see that all of them are complete. And that's it. Thanks for watching.